the Seattle Center proposal that Chris and I put together. Chris Van Dyke, the, the whole way we got on that subject is I, I'm a lifetime Seattle resident. He's a guy who cares a lot about the community. And, you know, they can make all the claims of the Seattle Center being viable without the Sonics they want. But in the end, it's sure not going to be as good. And it's not very good right now. The place is falling apart. So a lot of people can get excited about actually having a plan for the Seattle Center and setting instead of just deferring a few years which, and yeah it, it, like i said it's uh it's not as funny how passionate chris and i got because uh you know i, I don't want to throw up i-93 and be an obstructionist who all i did was block clay bennett's move i want to accomplish something productive and positive and, and i think so does van dyke and when you start talking about the potential for seattle center and you start walking around and seeing just how screwy all the components are and how much land is really available and, and how much cooler it could be you know, you can get excited. You can say, man, I could be a part of something. I could, we could build something that was magnificent. There are a number of funds that are available from the, the state and county that are really only available for the Sonics renovation. It's, it's the restaurant tax, the hotel, motel, and automobile. The Washington State Restaurant Association has agreed to allocate those excess taxes to, to anything planned, including the Sonics. The hotel, motel, the, all those are on the same boat. So those would be unavailable to the city of Seattle. So what we would do, in, in a real nutshell, and we're not trying to get too specific here, you take... The existing, you take the existing Mercer Garage and the existing Memorial Stadium. You demo them both. You, you put underground parking underneath Memorial Stadium site, significant underground parking. And then you, you allow someone who, who has a plan that works with the existing Seattle Center to build components to that. And, and we've got over with Nick Licata and other members of council who are very, very protective over the park atmosphere of the center to come in and put things on, put, uh, Put, put buildings on top of the current Mercer garage. We take that state money, which was unavailable otherwise, and we build a brand new Memorial Stadium on site, and conceivably that could house Major League Soccer as well. And you take the, then you take the money, the money created by the revenue from those two projects, which wouldn't have been able to be done. You wouldn't have been able to build all this underground parking and rebuild Memorial Stadium. You'd be purchasing that land at a premium from the Seattle School District, so it'd be money going directly to schools. And you take the revenue based on that, and you allocate it towards the solution for the Sonics. There's a ton of ways. I know the mayor's office is working really hard. I don't want to undercut anything they do, but, but I, I, what I thought is, if you get to a plan that, that Chris Van Dyke and Nick Licata say they endorse, and I look at it as the stadium guy, the pro sports Yahoo guy, and I think it makes sense, well, let's start from there and use it as a starting point and, and work towards something manageable, because I didn't think, I, didn't, I never thought that those two would move as far as they did, and, and we all never thought we'd come up with something that, that had such broad implications together.